What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play West of Loathing with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is West of Loathing. Let's get going. Been a while since I've recorded this. I did like two and a half weeks in advance. And then decided to wait before I did more. We got new inventory items. Um, I don't know what. That, that should basically cover it, right? Oh my god. I just got the same email to all three of my email addresses. So that's that's cool. Uh, new map locations. The railroad camp, the old millinery. What are we doing? Do we have a we have a quest log somewhere, right? I I, I feel like we do but I don't remember how to find it. Oh, we can change how our inventory looks? I didn't know that. That's convenient. Okay, we'll stick with this for now, but we might switch that up. Character. Perks. Info. Where's our... Quest log. I'm totally lost. Um, well, why don't we just go to a new location and figure it out from there? That's not the exit. This is the exit. We'll go all the way to the old millinery. Oh, you hear a strange humming noise and take. A brief detour to discover that it's coming from the mouth of a nearby cave. Discover a new map location, Humming Cave. Let's just continue. Where is that? I don't even see it. Yow. You walk into the millinery and five bandits and find five bandits lounging around in a big pile of half-made hats. It's the law. Skedaddle. The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shutting themselves behind a different door. Guess you'll have to wrangle them individually. Fine. Hat room one, hat room two. This patch of filthy floor wears a lot of hats. All right, I just left by accident. Brims. These crates are filled to the top with brims. This was apparently the demo model for, from a player piano showroom. It's only got three songs in it. They're all children's versions of traditional songs that are in the recently invented public domain, and they're all set up to play just the first few seconds on a loop. The people who work here must have hated it. What song do you want to set the dial to? The Yellow Rose of Public Domain, my old public domain home, public domain Joe, don't change that dial. Uh, one. You changed the song on the piano. Ugh. Can we, like... Don't we want... You changed the song on the piano, is that whistling you hear? Three. Wait. I want to hear Public Domain Joe. Ugh. Oh, okay. Three is turn it off. What about my Public Domain home? There, I like that. Let's fight some bandits. Got another box of brims. So many brims, so little time. Is this where they're hiding? J'accuse? Oh, no. The bandit unceremoniously dumps you outside and walks back in, making that dusting off their hands gesture in a cartoon. Uh, I didn't know this was a puzzle. I guess we're going back in. Bandits all go back to their rooms. Great. We have to figure out where he's hiding. I mean, I assume it's the one with a different hat, right? Ha! We captured one of them. So they're all puzzles? Dents. 
You don't know much about hat making, but you know this doesn't make any sense. Ha! <laughs> uh, crappy chapeau. Wait, I saw one move. Shoddy hats. Easy. Easy peasy. I didn't know this was a puzzle until after I messed up the first time. I saw that back corner one move. I think. I don't know why I'm being quiet. Liners. Given the quality of the one-liners around here, you don't need multiple. Uh... I don't understand. I mean, I understand this joke. I don't understand how I'm supposed to determine where they're hiding. This is a difficult puzzle. Or not a puzzle at all. Oh! Less dented hat! Alright, that's three down. Two to go. I assume if we mess up, we have to do all of them again. Squatchies. These are parts for some weird kind of hat you've never, you'd have never you never wear. I bet. Okay, this one, I actually just don't see a difference, and now I'm looking just for generic differences. I heard snoring. Oh! There we go. I heard the, the the snoring was a a hint, and then like the longer you stayed near him, the the more you could see the Z's or whatever. I don't know. More brims, lots of brims, tons of brims. Wow, that's too many brims. Also, sorry for my terrible French. All right. What do we do with this one? All of them have the same sprite. No difference in dents. Nobody's snoring. Hmm. I don't see any of them moving. I feel like if we miss this one, we're gonna have to start over, right? He's actually behind this box of brims. We can't go behind these ones. It's weird that we can go behind them, but can't see them. Can't see the, the hiding person. I, I think we just need to pick a random one. What else am I going to do? Um... Alright. I guess we start with that one, because it's random. What's different? There's no penalty. We gotta do that one first because it's the only one we can't, or at least the only one I haven't figured out how to actually figure out. Um. Wait a second. Much better. Oh, I figured it out. Uh, Public Domain Joe. Is that whistling you hear? Yes, it is. This guy likes the music. I did it. All right. All right. Go back through the other four rooms. The only hat that's different.
This is the room that one of them moves, right? Do I have to walk past it? There we go. Got it. Three down. Uh, less dented hat. And last one here. We've got uh, the snoring guy. Seemed like it was more obvious that time. I think we did it. Is there anything else to do here? Office. Pick the lock requires a needle. Why are needles so hard to find? Ouch. Um, can I talk to these guys? Deal with them. Turn them in, travel the dirt water, shoot them, ruthless, decide later. Um, let's turn them in. I don't think we can fill the whole jail. All in a day's work. Just wanted to say hi. I actually didn't want to walk up at all. Unfortunately, I think we've killed a gang already, so we won't be able to get the achievement for uh, filling the whole jail. You okay, buddy? I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. I'm going to need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Uh, sure. Thank you. There's a mission up north. The nuns... They run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you get me some broken leg pills? Yes. The rescue mission. Broken leg pills, is that a thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Don't have any with me. Sorry. Huh. Oh, that's uh, my, my pal there saying that. Doc whatever. Let's comb her mane. She neighs with whispery g gratitude. And uh, let's head back in the saloon. Did I already fix the player piano? I, I did. I did. Where's our quest log? Not in the options, is it? How don't I know this? I mean, I'm pretty sure I did know this at one point, and I've just forgotten. What the heck? It's got to be part of the inventory. Or something. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we just keep going to other locations. Just accomplish miscellaneous stuff, and then before the next video, I'll look up how to open the quest log. That... So dumb. Um, map it on up. Let's go to... Let's just uh, go right to the rescue mission. You find an abandoned crate with Fort All Dead stenciled on the side. Maybe the shippers decided... With wasn't worth the effort, considering. I don't know what that means. We still need a crowbar. We should go to that store. Did we check that for a crowbar already? Oh, I feel like I'm missing out on so much, which is why I'm almost a nice little church. I'll wait out here. Why I tend to get argumentative around church folk, especially when the topic of life after death comes up. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. I think we're definitely going to do a second playthrough, so I can just actually get all this stuff I'm missing. Gosh, a real-life nun? Or yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Dogen Pony. What's with the cots? Well, what with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also sell medical supplies if you're if you'd like to if you if you'd like your healing to go. Gotcha. Okay. Do you need any errands run or anything? Can I buy some medical supplies? Uh, leave the nun alone. Let's ask for errands. Funny you should ask. I've been experimenting with the healing properties of purple grass that grows near here. But I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Hey, I know about that. Cave? Oh, sure. I think I know the place you mean. 
I always say the thing that I'm about to say. No problem, I'll be right back with it. Um, also, not yet, sorry. Uh, can I buy some medical supplies? Broken leg pills, not too expensive. All right, Ooh, there we go. Let's go. Um, I'm in cave. Fight the skeleton, absolutely. We got the jump on him this time, and pretty much all times. He's got 55 HP. I think the, the best thing to do is probably going to be, you know, the, the triple shot. That's most of his health. This does 12 spooky damage, though. It costs one action point. Um, yeah, let's do Fan Hammer. The only thing that really makes sense, and then she'll do five damage, no matter what. And then we'll just shoot him for the rest of his health. Or whatever does the most damage. I think it's, yeah, this. He'll shoot, and then we'll get him with just a little bit of damage on the next turn. Not a problem at all. Skill up, dead eye level four. You got an item, old cavalry hat. Alice picks up a bone and examines it. Her eyes light up. Ev evidently, she's got an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. Way to go. It's always good. She might do more damage now. Oh, these rocks are weirdly organized. Yes, I see. This must be what the nun was talking about. Uh, pick it. Purple grass. Might as well check out the cave while we're here. Got some stalagmites. That snake isn't gonna let you pass without a struggle. A struggle it is. I'm a snake, whatever. Um, we can basically just kill it with this. That's most of its health. Though I feel like I should be able to like, just capture it, put it in my thing. Let's shoot it. We should get a snake uh, a snake skin when we're done. Oh! She has a new attack. It's a bone saw, it looks like, because it says that's not a skeleton. Um, yeah, and it lets you uh, probably deal extra damage to skeletons. It's not a, like, crowd effect, though. Is this an electric snake? Yes, it is. An electrified snake. Okay. That's, that's fine. We killed it. And we should get a skin? The explain electric snake skin. Hooray. That's not an actual opening. You might be able to push this over. Try it requires muscle 10. Uh, let's pop open that inventory. Old cavalry hat. Plus four muscle. My muscle is seven. And I don't think my Ellsbury's hat. Yeah, so pop that on. Now we can tip it over. Evo. Oh, I could have just avoided combat. I see. What's better? Uh, plus two armor, plus four muscle, or plus two armor? You know, the, the first one. Wow, what is that thing? Evidently a portal. Bizarre ruin. Oh. I always interact with stuff by accident. Like the first time I went through this, it was by accident. This looks dangerous. This monolith is dark. Looks like there was a huge cave in at some point. A weird device, take it. You got an item? Strange stone arrow. I'm down with that. This looks dangerous. Alright, well I got something. I wonder if this has to do with the skeletons, the cows coming home, or both. Hell, my tinnitus is acting up. 
I should have brought some ear protectors with this shotgun. Are you talking about that quiet humming sound? I hear it too. Guess we both need our ears checked. I didn't bring an eye out of scope either. I think it's coming from the cave actually. Um, okay. Can I like rearrange these rocks? I didn't mean to go in there. Let's go. We've got the grass. We've discovered a new map location, the professor's house. Let's continue. Yep, here you go. Mysticality level six, can I? No, I don't need medical supplies. I already bought them. So we're gonna stop at Button Willow's store. Then we're gonna go back to, you know, the main town. She does not have a crowbar. I don't know how to get a crowbar. Dirt water. We're gonna miss out on a lot of opening stuff because I don't have a crowbar. Bone pills. Leg pills. Yeah, that's it. Were you able to get some broken leg pills without them? I'm stuck just sort of lying here in the street. Yep, here you go. 20 XP. We have 39 out of 70. Will you... Will you? Thanks. I don't know how to pronounce that without going full on like, whew, uh, which I'm, I just did anyway, so thanks. I feel like a new man again, or at least the uh, same man with a new leg. That's good. Go drink some milk or something. Okay. He waves and skips happily away. Well, that was nice. I guess after the cows came over, it was probably harder to get to, to come by milk, you know? Oh, hi, I'm Dogen Pony. Any mail for me? Mmm, yes, actually. A package came for you. Here you are. A package from Rufus. Unexpected, but welcome. I'm gonna open that up. It's a package from your younger brother, Rufus. He's weird, but he's a sweet kid at heart. Open it. Dear bro, I found this and thought it might help you not die. He, you got an item? Modern Snake Oiler, issue 134. Nice. What the heck? Dear bro, I... Wait. Geez, you really miss that kid, and you miss your parents. You get all nostalgic just thinking about it. Nostalgia mode unlocked in the options menu. Sniff. I thought something broke, but it's just nostalgia mode? New. Remember how great things used to be? I'm confused. I'll probably turn that off in a minute for a better viewing experience, but uh, for now, let's leave it on and read this magazine. This is an old back issue of a popular magazine for snake oilers. Read it. We can get Shoot Nanny, Big Spleen, or Good Medicine. Shoot Nanny, a skill that lets you fire a whole bunch of bullets at random targets. Free sample of cologne that says it'll make your spleen bigger, gives Big Spleen a perk that lets you consume more potions in a day. We don't really consume potions anyway. And a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might come in handy in a fight. Gives good medicine, a skill that lets you recover HP in combat. Uh, let's go for shooting Nanny. Finally. Unfortunately, it looks like several of your stray shots hit the magazine, and it's pretty much a Swiss magazine about cheese at this point. That's a terrible joke. Let's open up the settings. Turn off nostalgia mode, because it's too dark. I'm, my eyes... Are actually straining just to see and uh what else do we want to do uh let's not go down all these empty lots we can go to the professor's house um the people at rescue mission might actually have more for us at this point let's go to the professor's house See what's up with that. A beeping machine leads you to a ramshackle house in the middle of the desert. Hmm. Got one of these. Still can't forage. Hey there. Er, excuse me. My name's Dogen Pony. What? Oh, I didn't notice you come in. I'm not used to visitors, but folks generally call me the professor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this 
bleeping gizmo and I sort of followed the bleeping and it led me here. Well, I'll be, it certainly led you to the right place, young man. This is El Vibrato Technology and it happens to be as much, and I happen to be as much of an expert as anyone alive today. El what now? El Vibrato. They were, they were an ancient race that lived here long ago. Uh, before humans. Well, they mostly lived underground, so they might still be living as far as I know. Never seen a peep of an actual person, though. Just the machines they left behind. Were they space aliens? Could be aliens or genius pre-humans or an entirely different terrestrial evolutionary line? At this stage of investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a closer look at your bleeping gizmo, given the device. Uh-huh, as I suspected. Uh, this is one of their transponders. It detects other El Vibrato technology and homes in. I lost my place. Oh, you see? That'll be why it led you here. I've got a thing that I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then plugs a strange stone marble into a socket on it. There you go, good as new. Just swipe up or down to turn it on or off. Sw swipe? Now I gotta warn you, this device will lead you to abandon El Vibrato technology, but it might also attract unwanted attention. From what? From the El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Okay. You know... Now that I think about it, you've arrived at a perfect time in order to get anywhere further. With my research, I need more samples of El Vibrato tech, but searching for it eats up all the time I could be using to research it. Aha, I get you. Right. You're the adventuresome type, so bring me back whatever devices you find, and if I can get them up and running, that'll benefit both of us. All right, deal. Great. First priority will be to get my keystone fabricator running. They lock their doors and things with these little... Stone ally blocks, see? If we can make our own, they'll open up a lot of doors for us, literally and figuratively. All right, what do we need? The components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. Bring me uh, around five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need from that much. Roger that. All right, let's talk to our partner. What do you think of this guy, Doc? He seems all right, I suppose. Got a strange hobby? Yeah. This is the professor's keystone fabricator. He's waiting on some parts to finish it. Hint, hint. Uh, this dresser contains 10 instances of the exact same shirt and 20 identical socks. Is it not normal to have, to have identical socks? I have like 50 of the exact same sock. I guess I have 25 pairs of the exact same sock, maybe more. Okay, this appears to be an extremely powerful magnifying mirror, basically an inside-out microscope. Check yourself. The microscope, the microscopic mites that live in your eyelashes seem to be getting along just fine. We got five experience. Can we flush a toilet? The professor's toilet isn't in very good repair. Flush it. You gain one experience. And, uh, we're back outside. I'm going to say that that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next episode.